Mammograms and Breast Cancer, a research documentary. Hello, my name is Dr. Calvin Ross and I am a certified technician and I am very concerned about women continuing to receive annual mammograms for breast cancer screening. This is video one of three. My first question to you is this, are mammograms safe? No. Why are mammograms not safe? Mammograms are x-ray radiation and x-ray radiation causes breast cancer. I have carefully researched the complete history of mammograms and breast cancer and here are the documented facts from my professional literature research from around the world. Mammograms were first introduced in the United States in 1965 and just four years later in 1969 the first report appeared stating x-ray radiation was causing breast cancer. For the last 40 years the evidence has been non-stop and clearly documents the extreme threat for you in developing breast cancer after being exposed to dangerous x-ray radiation. The current feud regarding mammograms and x-ray radiation exploded on Monday, November 16, 2009 when the United States Preventative Services Task Force reviewed the AMA's mammogram screening recommendation of annual mammograms from 40 years of age to 70 years of age. After extensive research by the United States Preventative Task Force, they announced that annual mammograms to begin at 50 years old, not 40 years old. This change was due to the extreme risk of X-ray radiation from mammograms in women causing cancer between 40 and 50 years old far outweighed the benefits of receiving mammograms in this, this age group. There is now a national conversation that has ignited fear and confusion in women across America. You see, the United States Preventative Task Force is mandated by public law to meet with the Agency of Healthcare Research and Quality to conduct scientific evidence reviews for many clinical preventative services develop recommendations for the healthcare community, and provide ongoing research that supports current medical procedures. So the United States Preventative Task Force change in policy was based on their extensive research supporting their new position for women to begin mammograms at age 50, not 40. The purpose of my research documentary is to support the sensible and wise recommendation of the United States Preventative task force and to give women the true facts regarding the extreme risk of continual annual mammogram screening for breast cancer, especially younger women. Since the United States Preventative Services Task Force announced, women have become completely confused and are now seeking new answers for breast cancer screening. I will now give you the latest scientific research on what you can do for safe breast cancer screenings. Women beware of the American Cancer Society together with the American College of Radiology. They have completely disregarded the carefully considered recommendations of the United States Preventative oh. Services Task Force who insist on pursuing large-scale mammogram screening programs for breast cancer including the use in younger women even though the NAS National Cancer S Institute and other experts have agreed with the United States Preventative Services Task Force that mammogram screening is likely to cause more cancers than it could possibly ever detect in younger women. You deserve to clearly understand the documented scientific facts that annual mammogram screenings are not safe and annual mammogram screenings are the leading cause of breast cancer. Let us look at the documented facts regarding mammograms and their risk of causing breast cancer from X-ray radiation. Each mammogram you receive one rad of radiation. Over 10 years, the risk of getting breast cancer increases 20% and understand radiation-related breast cancers occur at least 10 years after X-ray exposure. Studies of many 
groups of people exposed to ionizing radiation have conclusively found that accumulation of radiation over time can cause breast cancer, as has been documented in the groups of the past who were exposed to radiation, as documented in the following four examples. One, the female survivors of the atomic bombing in Japan during World War II. Number two, the women given radiation therapy to treat Hodgkin's disease and both malignant and benign breast disease. Three, girls treated as infants or children for several non-malignant conditions such as enlarged thymus glands. Number four, young adolescents and women who received numerous diagnostic x-ray examinations to monitor tuberculosis treatment or to monitor scoliosis of the spine. You must understand there is more known about the spread of breast cancer following radiation exposure than of any other cancer. Breast cancer from x-ray radiation is the number one cause of breast cancer and has been researched more than any other kind of cancer. There is absolutely no safe dose of x-ray radiation to your breast because your breast is the most sensitive tissue in the human body.